right, so we came home. Um, we got home at like 1.30 in the morning. It was a very long night, long drive home, flight, everything. So, our final thoughts on our whole trip. Um, Vegas was super busy. Like, the streets were packed. Um, there was a mixture of people wearing masks, people not wearing masks. Um, for stuff being opened, we had a hard time. It was weird hours that things were open. Um, we went from a Sunday to a Wednesday. So we found like, what was it, Monday, Tuesday, a lot of stuff wasn't open. So kind of sucks, but we, we made it work and we found things that were open and they were fantastic. Um, the resort. <laughs> so we safe on it, but you know, <laughs> saving doesn't mean that it's great yeah 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 we got a really good deal so as you know we stayed at the Luxor and it is the second last resort on the strip so we had a hell of a lot of walking to do there is a tram that runs between um, Mandalay Bay to Luxor to Luxor to Excalibur all closed all closed and I think it, what was it? They only ran from like... I think Thursday to Saturday or some or Sunday maybe. So yeah. during the week they're not open. So that kind of sucked. So we had to walk a lot. Um, then there was a tram that ran between Aria, something in the Bellagio. That one was working. So that was good. And there, that one was free. Um, same as the other tram that was closed at the Luxor. It was free. Um... So yes, we saved at the Luxor. We got um, through, I, I'm part of M Life. I play those, you know, uh, my, my Vegas Strip games. And um, I also signed up for the M Life card for the casino. I had zero points, but I was able to get three complimentary nights and just pay for the resort fees. The, yeah, the resort fees. So the resort fees plus a late checkout came to 159 I think yeah yes so that sounds right 159 so that's really good that really cut down the cost but they did not tell us at check-in that there was construction going on and that we would have no water between 11 to 2 o'clock yeah every like day so that kind of sucked because by two we were ready to go back to the room get cleaned up get ready to go out for supper <laughs> couldn't even go to the washroom because there's no water so that was you know we were very disappointed that they didn't at least give us a heads up so we could plan around that um trying to call down to the front desk was it was terrible the first day we found out we had no water we were on the phone for probably a half hour and nobody ever picked up the line. Eventually we just said, screw it. We'll just get dressed and go. <laughs> um, so we got in at, what, 11 at night? Um, on a Sunday? Yes. Yeah? Nothing was open. We were so hungry by the time we got there. Nothing was open. And we ended up finding a pretzel place kind of like um for those of you at home in canada it would be like new york pretzels or here what's it called auntie auntie annie something auntie like that. annie or something or Anne, auntie Anne. yeah something like that anyway those soft pretzels we got old stale soft pretzels for supper yeah, soft no no they weren't soft. they were hard. stale and hard um so that kind of sucks but we got nutella with it so that Made that it helps. better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that really sucks. A lot of stuff at the Luxor wasn't open. Even, like, for breakfast, we had to go outside of our resort to try and find something that was budget-friendly. Unless you wanted to pay, you know, $18 for bacon and eggs. Which I think is absolutely ridiculous. But we took Travel Ruby's advice. We went to the Miracle Mile shops and we found lots of really good options for for breakfast um, even if we went there for lunch or supper still really good options 
Um, what else do we have trouble with? Oh, oh, we had two people. Two visitors. <laughs> yeah, walk into our room. Um, but <laughs> they weren't actually like One was the cleaning people. room ladies. Yeah. How she didn't, the housekeeping, she didn't tell that nobody was there yet. So she was looking to see if the room was still, was clean. Mm -hmm. And the other one, uh, we were just finishing showering and everything, and you just walk inside the whole <laughs> room. It looked like probably one of the worker guy. I don't know, like, like maintenance. No, you look no? like more like construction or something. Oh, or maybe just security wise. Some, <laughs> I don't know. So, I I was the one who I think it was very in shock to <laughs> cut someone in their room that he kind of closed back the door like kind of very and I was like in towel so. <laughs> It didn't help the case. <laughs> I was in the shower. Nancy had just gotten out of the shower. And that's when this all happened. <laughs> so it was a little awkward. Um, made us a little bit nervous. Because, you know, we're two girls there all by ourselves. And two people walk in the first night. Not cool. At 11 something. At, yeah, PM, like 11 so. at night. Oh, well, maybe on there's around 10 a.m. When it's time to cleaning of the room yeah. and everything. Check out time. Um, um, at night, you feel less safe. Yeah. Uh, the other disappointing thing is the lecture has five pools and most of the time only two were open. That was a little disappointing because they got pretty crowded. Um, the pools were nice though. Nice layout and everything. Yeah. Um, if you wanted any type of umbrella, I think the price started at $150 for one. It's $150 for two long chair, the plastic one, and you mm -hmm. have a Hawaiian umbrella. And yeah. from there, if you want other stuff, it can go up to $600. Depends of the date. So. Mm -hmm. And didn't you look at it and like this weekend was like $1,000 like, $1, Yeah, $1, some for of them were $1,000, $1,200. $1, so it, it really, you have to check the calendar to see mm -hmm. the price. but. Not only that, like you're renting them, but if it's like two long chair, you it's only mm -hmm. for two persons. So you don't bring nobody else sitting with you. And it's the same yep. thing with the cabinets. It's like it starts around 350 and yeah. depends the day can go to 1200 And it's saying to you like no more than six persons. So six persons is pretty quick That's, to fill in for yeah. a cabana. So especially if you have Very, like a family of five yeah. going and they go with another family it's they're just they're very very expensive um and they don't offer any type of other little umbrellas around that you can get a little bit of shade and there's not trees around and no. stuff so there's really no shade so in a heat wave the sun is very mm -hmm. hard yeah so we as much as we stayed there in the pool, we sat in the pool the whole time, and then we kind of hit our limit of, okay, it's too hot, we just can't be out here, and had to go back in. Um, casino? Fantastic. Okay. I thought it was pretty they don't fantastic. don't pay enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't win at all. Um, there was a lot to choose from. It wasn't very busy. No. The the tables were not open much. Like there was very, very few yeah. um, tables open. So I wanted to try playing blackjack because Ash always plays it. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna try this time and I'll try like a $10 table, something with maybe only like one or two people at it. Everything started at what, 15? At least, yeah. Yeah, minimum was 15. Yeah, because the roulette was 15, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, we played roulette and it started at $15 a bet. So I was kind of disappointed at that because our money disappeared pretty fast at that table. <laughs> I think we bet like twice and we're like, I'm done. Yeah, I um, guess it's no for gambling for us. <laughs> no, we had zero luck, zero. <laughs> what were the good points? Anything good? It was nice to walk around, to mm -hmm. visit everything. Everything was new for me, so yeah, it was yes. easier to make it better, probably. Yeah. The, the room was, was the well room renovated. Was clean. The room yeah. was perfect. Like, yeah. For Ooh. the price and everything, yeah. like, I can't. We cannot complain for rooms and stuff. We can complain what was not good. Yes, wasn't because, working. Yes, we had good deals, but other people stay there, maybe pay full price and got and the having thing. the same issue than us. Mm -hmm. This is differently. 
Yes. But no, to walk on the strip and everything mm -hmm. was very cool. Seeing like very strange people yep. all around. <laughs> it was, yeah, a lot of stuff you never want to yeah. see again. Yeah, mm -hmm. you feel you're not home when you're there at least. <laughs> you're really <Yeah>. on vacation. <laughs> it was nice. It was very cool yeah. to visit. Yeah. The, the rooms were nice. They were well renovated. We do kind of miss that we didn't have a fridge, so we couldn't put like a bunch of water in it. And we had and the idea to put ice in the sink to get our drinks cold, <laughs> but no ice in the machine either, so... Okay, so, so far, don't stay at the Luxor. Do not stay there. <laughs> Unless you want a really cheap price and you're willing to walk a lot to find yeah. stuff. And drinks like 18, 18, $18 in drinks. drinks. Yeah. All no. the time, yeah. It's cool, like two, three glass, but... Yeah. After that, it's cool to have your home booze in your room. Yeah. <laughs> we did we did do the Fat Tuesday, those uh, slushy daiquiris. Yes. So we bought the two tumbler cups, which were... $24 when you buy the glass. And after yeah. that, it's every time you fill in was 14, 18? No, it was 11. 11? That's cheap? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think that we went with the, the $18 cup. Mm -hmm. And it was eleven dollars to refill. Okay, yeah. Because we did look at the twenty-four one, and yeah. we're like, "Ooh, that's a little bigger." But yeah, we cheaped out and said, "No, we don't need that much." So eleven dollars to refill really wasn't that bad. They were pretty strong, which was nice. Um, yeah, this, the only thing is that it's sugary. They have like eight flavor, but mm -hmm. they're already alcohol-wise, and depends on the flavor. You have more or less alcohol. Mm -hmm. So if you don't like to drink something very strong strong but you like the flavor you kind of screw to choose something else like yeah. like mine was i think the second the yeah. second more strong one but the other flavor then call me so what the girl said to me okay we'll mix that one with something a little bit less stronger and and, and what did good. she call it nancy what did she call your the drop drink? panty <laughs> the panty dropper the panty dropper <laughs> yeah I was the smart one. I went with electric lemonade. But I blue electric dress, lemonade. So. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, so nothing underneath. We're good. Drink all the slushies you want. <laughs> so overall, our experience and our time there was a lot of fun. There was just a few things about the resort and being so far away that were a little disappointing. Maybe we should have did a little bit more research, but... Other than that, you know, we we had, we a, had a great time. Yeah, we had a few drinks, some really good meals, like the one I catch. It was expensive and small portions, but it, it was, was delicious. It was very good. Yes. Yeah. Fancy mac and cheese is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, like we went to uh, Carlo's Bakery, and he has a pizza shop, which were all pretty good. Yeah. Um, especially if you eat the pizza fresh, if it's like a day old or cold later that night not so great and it's super thin very very thin crust um it was really good yeah so overall yes it was so much fun just really look into the resort even though it's cheap or you get complimentary rooms not always worth it yeah but we'll go back again but we were not leaving in the room so it's not no. that bad no it was only for sleeping changing the rest of the time we were out and walking the strip, so it was good. But that's our, our review. Hopefully this will help somebody going soon and just know to the Luxor is under construction and you probably will have no water and no fridge. Yeah. Alright, that's it for us. Hope you enjoyed our Vegas trip. See ya! See ya!